Shakespeare's I am Will Shakespeare, which means I need you to chill now! Woo! That was good, but frankly, we can be more obnoxious. When I say you should chill now, I need you to go insane. Hoot, holler, clap, cheer, stomp your feet, whistle, and throw small loved ones into the air. I am Will Shakespeare, which means you should cheer now! <laughs> I thought that guy was about to spin his kid. <laughs> no. Friends, this story is audience interactive, which means it requires all of your help. So when I hear, when I say everybody says, ooh, I need to hear all of you say, ooh. Everybody says, ah. Ah. People cry out, dear God, what is that thing? Dear God, what is that thing? Dramatic music. Bum, bum, bum. We have not very dramatic music. <laughs> we have random sound effects of randomness. <laughs> and we start with a song. Now take your hands. Hit your lap two times. Clap your hands once. Do it again. 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 Repeat. Cause I'm a little teapot, short and stout Here is my handle and here's my spout Let me get all steamed up and hear me shout Tip me over and pull me out Singing I'm a little teapot Now let me hear all of you sing it I'm a little teapot Alright! Mary had a little lamb and space was white as snow And everywhere that Mary went the lamb was sure to go And followed her to school one day which was against the rules And made the children laugh and play to see the lamb at school Pa 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 Black sheep singer Pa 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 Black sheep Alright Little Jack Horner sat in a corner eating his Christmas pie. Put in a thumb, pulled out a plum, said, "My oh my, what a good boy am I? He's gonna lose a leg to diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna lose a leg to diabetes." Which is really fun if you went to my 115 <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah. When we had Wilford Brimley. All right. <laughs> Next verse. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jumped over the candlestick. It's okay, I don't smell toast, I didn't have a stroke. It's okay, I didn't smell toast, I didn't have a stroke. It's true, I didn't, alright. I don't know why I did that one, alright. Next one. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Always designate your driver. Sing it! Always designate your driver. It's good advice. Next verse. Jack and Jill went up the hill. They went to get some water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill came tumbling after. Girls perform better than boys on the SAT. <laughs> Girls perform better than boys on the SAT. Look it up. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if it's true. I'm just gonna say it is. It is, it is. all right, yeah. All right, Goop. Way to go, girls. My friends, keep the beat going. You and the you, the proud, the nerds. You might be thinking, Shakespeare, why are you calling me such names? Well, you're at a Renaissance fair, aren't you? Some of you are dressed for the Renaissance fair. Others are wearing really nerdy t-shirts. Others are, are so white, you can't stay on the beat. You are the ones who wear red shirts and understand that you will be the first to die. Hello. You are the ones who use nerdy language, words like, Bazinga! And Hodor! And Wibbly Wobbly Pimey Wimey! You are the ones! You are the ones who allow me to stand here and do this! Well, if I'm enough of you good people right here, right now, I wouldn't be here doing this! No! I'd be at home! 
still doing this. <laughs> and still wearing velvet. <laughs> so, thank you for allowing me to not look weird today and giving me the best job in the world. Join me on the final verse. Reach into the bottom of your heart. The cockles of your heart. The subcockle. You know, big toe. And sing with me. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Sing it loud! Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Next time, won't you sing with me? Give yourselves applause! Begin this story the way all good stories do on a dark and stormy night, replete with dramatic music. <laughs> Three witches are dancing on a craggy moor in Scotland, as played by this lady here, this lady here, and this lady here. <laughs> And the witches three stand and cackle like witches. <laughs> I need to point out he might have won. <laughs> and with the voice of the entire crowd, they say these words of incantation. They cry, double, double, toil and trouble. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire, burn and cauldron bubble. Fire, burn and cauldron bubble. Fire, the pricking of my thumb! By the pricking of my thumb! Something wicked this way comes! Something wicked this way comes! Who should it be? Who? But the titular character of Macbeth, dust by fluffy kittens. His name is Macbeth. And you know what does he? For he is a ginger. Now, <laughs> now Macbeth is joined. Joined by his best friend and boon companion, Banquo. This kid with the face. <laughs> Banquo is a man of few words. He's a bit of a yes man. And he always, always, always says, Yup. Well done. Now, Macbeth gets on stage, and the witches three with the voice of the crowd cry, Hail Macbeth! Hail Macbeth! Lord of Glamis! Lord of Glamis! Hail Macbeth! Hail Macbeth! Lord of Cardor! Lord of Cardor! Hail Macbeth! Hail Macbeth! He who shall be king! He who shall be king! And the witches three cackled and laughed. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> and he disappear into the night, which means sit down. Good job. Now. Macbeth turns to Banquo. He says, wow, wow, that was bloody weird. That was bloody weird. And Banquo says, well done. <laughs> he says, they called me king. They called me king. And Banquo says, well done. He says, that obviously can't happen. That obviously can't happen. And Banquo says, except that it does. Trick question, kid, read the book. Now, he says, for me to be king. For me to be king. We would have to first kill my cousin, the king. We would have to first kill my cousin, the king. Have his sons driven from the land. Have his sons driven from the land. And the nobles shall declare me king. And the nobles shall declare me king. And Banquo says, well done. Now, Macbeth gets up pen, and he writes a letter to his wife saying, dear wife. Dear wife! Something weird happened today. Something weird happened today. I met three witches. <laughs> I met three witches. They called me king. They called me king. That obviously can't happen. That obviously can't happen. Love Macbeth. Love Macbeth. P.S. P.S. We're having a sleepover. We're having a sleepover. <laughs> Please make brownies. Please make brownies. And he mails a letter to his wife. She jumps up and exclaims, My husband shall be king! <laughs> My husband shall be king. And you know she is Lady Macbeth because she is pale and tragic. And he says, How he says, How shall this happen? How shall this happen? She says, it's all so simple. It's all so simple. All we have to do, all we have to do is kill your cousin the king. Is kill your cousin the king. Have his sons driven from the land. Have his sons driven from the land. And the nobles shall declare you king. And the nobles shall declare you king. Which is really weird because he wasn't even there for the conversation. Now, <laughs> at this point, who should enter but the King of Scotland, Duncan, that man in the plaid dress. Now, <laughs> he stands and he says, Hail Macbeth! Hail Macbeth! My cousin! 
My cousin. My brother. My brother. My bestie. My bestie. I feel safe in your home. I feel self in your home. You're not self. <laughs> no, 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 no. You feel safe. I feel safe. In your home. In your home. Nothing bad can happen to me here. Nothing bad can happen to me here. This is the best sleepover ever. Best sleepover ever. Thanks for the brownies. Thank you for the brownies. And he goes to bed. Oh, and he goes to bed. No, no, that, that's what he goes to bed. Go to bed. That was weird. All right. What do you say to her husband? If it were done. If it were done. To work better, it were done quickly. To work better, it were done quickly. Do it! Do it! Kill him! Kill him! Be a man! Be a man. says. Still weird, still not there. <laughs> At this point, Macbeth delivers a soliloquy. That's a big word, say it with me. Soliloquy. A soliloquy is one person, in this case Macbeth, is talking to you, the audience, directly, but no one else in the show can hear. So, yeah. Lady M, Banquo, Sleeping King, earmuffs. <laughs> he steps forward, holds out his hand dramatically. Too dramatic. <laughs> not dramatic enough. Right there. <laughs> He says, is this a dagger I see before me? Is this a dagger I see before me? No, it's a fluffy kitten! There's nothing so dread or deadly in the entire universe known as an adorable fluffy kitten. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the earmuffs come off and he sneaks into the king's bedchamber with sneaking music provided by Yule. Oh. He puts the kitten into the bed, runs away giggling like a three-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> the king awakes. He stands so you can see the tragedy unfold. Oh my god. Spoilers. <laughs> he says aww. Aww. And so do all of you. Aww. The kitten begins to meow. Let me hear it meow. Yeah. Begins to purr. Let me hear it purr. Yeah. The lips are sweet with scratchy tongue. Oh, it hurts right. so good. Oh, and the king is love. But how is he love? To death! Oh, 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 dead! All the way dead! Die, ladylike! <laughs> Tongue out so we know it's real. All right. <laughs> At this point, the nobles of Scotland shout, "The king is dead!" The king is dead. The king's two children, Malcolm and the other one. <laughs> they say, "Our dad is dead." Our dad is dead. Let's run away to England. Let's run away Let's to England. There's something weird or suspicious about that. There's something weird or suspicious. No, no, there's nothing weird or suspicious. About that. <laughs> There's nothing weird or suspicious about that. And then they go away awkwardly, because that got weird. All right. <laughs> and the noble shouts, the sons have fled! The sons have fled! Macbeth the king! It's Macbeth the king! And his wife says, yeah, baby! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and Banquo says, yep. well done. <laughs> and Macbeth says, it's good to be king! Yeah, it's good to be king. And that, who, who told you to live? <laughs> 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 I don't know why she did that, right? But she's a ginger and it's well known they have no salt. <laughs> and Macbeth says it's good to be king. It's good to be king. And that ends at one! Woo! Now, several days go by and you know the time has passed for the Earl standing in different spots on stage. <laughs> that got awkward. <laughs> when Banquo comes up to his friend Macbeth and he says, My Lord Macbeth, I know, I was surprised too. Banquo knows other words, right? <laughs> he says, I, Banquo, must go do some things. I need to hold a banquet. <laughs> And Macbeth says, King. King. Bye. Bye. And he goes, wait, hold a banquet. Bye. No. Lady O says to her husband, you must kill Banquo. You must kill Banquo. He says, why? Why? He's my best friend. He's my best friend. She says, he wants to be king. He wants to be king. Do it. Do it. Kill him. Kill him. Be a man. <laughs> and Banquo says, <laughs> kind of awkward now. <laughs> so he calls forth his messenger. He says, messenger. Messenger! And his messenger runs forward. Oh my god! <laughs> and he says, Messenger! Messenger! You know what to do! You know what to do! She salutes him. She says, Aye, aye, Captain. Which is weird because he's the king and not a captain at all. And so she goes to Banquo. 
And who comes here to make this easier on me? No. Oh dear God! No! Oh, don't jump! Don't jump! You have so much to live for! <laughs> and she says, Hail Banquo! I am the king's messenger! She strikes a dramatic pose and she says, Jerry! <laughs> she says, Do you like kittens? And Banquo says, Well done. Now, she gives him a kitten. Give him a kitten. She runs away laughing like a maniac. <laughs> I need you to stop being so adorable. This is my show. <laughs> Banquo sees the kitten and he says, Aww. Aww. And so do all of you. Aww. And he begins to purr. Let me hear it purr. Purr. And he begins to meow. Let me hear it meow. Purr. He licks his cheek with scratchy tongue. Oh, and it starts to knead out his eyes with tiny little claws. It hurts so good. And Banquo is loved. But how is he loved? Yeah. 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 Roll over, roll over, dead. Be dead! Stick your tongue out so we know it's real! <laughs> dead! I need to point out your mother is laughing at you. <laughs> at this point, the Lord High Inspector of Scotland, Mr. Macduff, this guy here, says, My Lord Macbeth! My Lord Macbeth! What the hell was that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you once play Batman for Christopher Nolan? <laughs> Something weird is happening in the nation! Something weird is happening in the nation! And now you became weirdly British, alright. <laughs> we have far too many cats! We have far too many cats! I'm going to England to investigate! I'm going to England to investigate! <laughs> A bit says, Kay. Kay. Bye. Bye. And he goes to England to investigate. Now, Lady M says to her husband, You must. Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> you must come there. You must come there. He says, Why? Why? He's a good man. He's a good man. And she says, He Why? wants to be king. He wants to be king. He goes, I can't kill him though. I can't kill him though. He's in England. He's in England. And has diplomatic immunity. And has diplomatic immunity. He says, well, kill the family then. We'll kill the family then. Kill the wife. Kill the wife. Kill the children. Kill the children. Kill that dog. Yeah, kill the children. Not the dog. Not the dog. Not the dog. And so he calls forth his messenger saying, messenger. Messenger. And, 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 she, and, she, and she comes forward. He says, messenger. Messenger. You know what to do. You know what to do. She she <laughs> she says, aye aye, Captain. Still with, still the king. And so she goes and collects the Macduff family. She gets Mrs. Macduff. Yes. <laughs> she get, she gets she gets Macduff's mother-in-law, this ginger right here. Because it's Mother's Day, so why not? So, <laughs> the mothers must die. And Macduff's older, dated teenage daughter. <laughs> She gets, she gets, make up. Are you coming? <laughs> no, you, no. Your ginger family. They keep coming. <laughs> she gets McDuff's younger ginger child who never did anything bad to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> this kid who volunteered. She gets McDuff's younger daughter. Susan! <laughs> she gets his next door neighbor, Uncle Slapping! <laughs> and she gets the dog! No, not the dog! Here, boy! Here, boy! Here, boy! Here, boy! Here, boy. Come up on stage, Victor family! Come up on stage! Here, boy! Here, boy! Here, boy. Here, boy. Who's a good boy? Say <laughs> Good boy, good boy. <laughs> and so, Jerry, sick, twisted, evil person that Jerry is, goes to the Macduff family and she says, Hail Macduffs! I am the king's messenger! She strikes a dramatic pose and she says, Jerry! She says, Do you like kittens? And the McDuffs all say, yes! Yes! Except for the dog who says, well done. <laughs> and so, she begins to hand out the kittens. She says to Mrs. McDuff, that lady right there, says, here's one for you. <laughs> and to McDuff's mother-in-law, this lady here, here's one for you. <laughs> and to his next door neighbor, Uncle Slappy, <laughs> here's one for you. And to his younger daughter, Susan, 
here's one for you. And to his and to his older jaded teenage daughter, Matilda. Here's one for you. And to his younger child who never did anything bad to anybody. Here's one for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kid with the tiger face, oh dear god. What will happen? Will time stop? She goes into the dark. She runs away to her seat, laughing like a maniac. <laughs> Don't jump, my god! She made it! <laughs> it does see the kittens, and they all say, aww. aww. And so do one of you. Aww. They begin to meow, let me hear a meow. They lift their cheeks and scratch each other and their hurts so good They start to need other eyes with tiny little claws The McDuffs all begin to sneeze uncontrollably They are highly allergic <laughs> And the McDuffs are loved And how are they loved? To, to death! death. Oh, they love to, to death! death. Oh, innocent people! No! McDuff's older jaded teenage daughter is not good because she took the baby down with her. <laughs> the baby's still alive. You don't want! <laughs> Stop giggling! That isn't funny! Just die! I'll never die! Sick, twisted, evil person that Jerry is. <laughs> she goes to McDuff. No, over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. And she says, "Hail McDuff! I am the king's messenger." She shakes her dramatic pose and says, "Jerry." She says, "I've got good news and bad news." He says, "What's the good news?" What's the good news? She says, "You should follow Shakespeare on Facebook." <laughs> Seriously, you should well. all go do it. It's the only way I judge my self-worth in life. All right. Shakespeare approves. He says, what's the bad news? What's the bad news? And she says, your whole family's dead. Your whole family's dead. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Say, bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> she whispered it quietly. And she runs away laughing like a maniac. <laughs> I think Jerry really enjoys her work, and that's the important thing. <laughs> he says, all my chicks are dead. All my chicks are dead? All my little peeps! All my little peeps! I am not sponsored by the Marshmallow Peep Corporation, but if you know them, give them my name. <laughs> he cries, revenge! Revenge! He comes to the island, says it again. Revenge! He goes to the stairs and turns to the crowd and cries it a third time. Revenge! He falls to his knees, beats his chest, raises his arms to heaven, and cries, Khan! Come! <laughs> he goes to the princess in exile, Malcolm, and the other one. <laughs> says, I'm Malcolm. I'm Malcolm. I'm the other one. I'm the other one. <laughs> says, Let's get revenge. Let's get revenge. They say, on who? On, on who? who? Says, the guy who killed your dad. The guy who killed your dad. And they're like, oh yeah, him. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, him. And go away and plot revenge. Go away. Now. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lady Macbeth is going insane. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> She has the blood of the innocents on her hands and can't get it out. She scrubs and scrubs and scrubs, saying, Out, spot, out! Out, spot, out! Out, damn spot! Out, god damn spot! Please try out, damn spot, remember, available at Walgreens. <laughs> but then, something unexpected happens. She realizes he didn't like it to put a ring on it. And everyone says, Ooh! Ooh. And so then, something else unexpected happens. We take a pause for Macbeth to step forward to take off that stupid wig <laughs> and to say something. Merlin, we met at fair. I love you. I can't imagine life without you. So I was wondering, just wondering, line. <laughs> would you be my wife? <laughs> say it so they can hear it. <laughs>
not part of the show, that actually happened. <laughs> For her to feel remorse about all the people's deaths she led to. I'm happy about that. Are you happy about that? Well, in that case, oh, you're happy about that? In that case, die! Die! No one's happy in my show! Die! Die, you psychotic ginger! Die! All dead! Stop smiling! I know this is the happiest day of your life! <laughs> Fall over, damn it! <laughs> More dead! I can't do this. <laughs> More dead! <laughs> How do you feel? Feeling pretty good. Wow, you're a psychotic. <laughs> he feels his mortality creeping in. He cries, Witches! Witches! Help me! Help me! And the witches three stand, and they say, What do you want? What, what do you want? want? Says, Will I live forever? Will I live forever? And they let him know that's a stupid question. Yeah, that's, that's a stupid, stupid question. question. They say, He says, Will I die in battle? Will I die in battle? And the witches three, with the voice of the crowd, say, No man! No man! Of mortal woman born! Of mortal woman born! Can harm Macbeth! Can't harm practically everybody! That's practically everybody! The witches three disappear into the night, cackling the entire way. <laughs> and the dead people get up and clear the stage to thunderous applause! <laughs> One more time, you give a great big round of applause to the newly happy engaged couple. So, at this point, you're still in it. No. Don't be dead! I'm dying! Still set! <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, at this moment, who should burst into the scene but the red shirt, the army? <laughs> he, he points at Macbeth and he says, I'm the army! He says, that's great. That's great? I can't die. I can't die. And he hits the red shirt with a cat. You see the rest of the show, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> no! no You're gonna alter the course of time! What will happen if red shirts don't die? Red shirt, drop dead! No, you can't kill Shakespeare! <laughs> Call it a truce. You have rank, apparently. <laughs> your name, your name is Mr. Scott. All right? We accept. We accept. Give me the cat. Give me the cat. Oh, oh thank you. Oh. Ah! Oh, no. And then, at this point, Macduff bursts into the scene with bursting action. Boom! <laughs> he points at Macbeth. Macbeth. He says, "Die, vile traitor! Die, old traitor!" Macbeth says, don't you know? Don't you know? No man. No man. Of mortal woman born. Of mortal woman born. Can harm Macbeth. Can harm Macbeth. Says, don't you know? Don't you know? That Macduff. That Macduff. Who is me. Who is me. From his mother's I, womb. From his mother's womb. Was untimely ripped. Was untimely ripped. And Macbeth asks, what does that mean? What does that mean? Says, I. I. Was born. Was born. By C-section. By C-section. Macbeth says that's fascinating. That's fascinating. Says, yeah, well, the more you know. Well, the more you know. Then a rainbow appears. Like. <laughs> they arm themselves with cats. <laughs> and Macbeth says, well. Well? Lay on, Macduff. Lay on, Macduff. And there is dramatic fight music. <laughs> 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 People get hit! Oh! <laughs> all, of sudden, all, of sudden, all of a sudden, a hush falls over the crowd. Hush. And the king's messenger comes back into the scene. 
<laughs> and she says, Hail Macbeth! I am the king's messenger! She strikes a dramatic pose and says, Jerry! She says to Macbeth, Do you like kittens? And Macbeth says, Yes! Yes! And so she then. Oh boy. So she then gives him the largest cat of all, saying, Say hello to Mr. Fluffy! And she hits him with the cat! <laughs> the cats begin to meow! Because <laughs> 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 she's a scratchy tongue, it hurts so good, and Macbeth is loved, but how is he loved? To, to death! How is he loved? To, to death! They <laughs> 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 bite off the head! Jerry, you are far too happy about this. She <laughs> <laughs> runs away. Laughing maniacally. Laughing maniacally. Macduff holds up the head. Ew, that's gross. He says, behold. Behold. The traitor is dead. The traitor is dead. Malcolm is now king. Malcolm is now king. All hail King Malcolm. All hail King Malcolm. I'm Malcolm. I'm Malcolm. I'm Malcolm. I'm the other one. I'm the other one! Donald Bean, if you're really interested. <laughs> and, except for the thousands of dead people, they all live, say it with me. Happily ever after. Take your bows. Woo! Jerry, take your bow! <laughs> Run away, Jerry, run away. Well done. In Lord's Day's all day, we have a happy couple! Wedding available? <laughs> 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 it was like a Disney kiss, alright. <laughs> Lords and ladies, go away, go, go make babies now. <laughs> <laughs> With paper mache, people. I mean, come on, I do a kid show. Now, Lords and ladies, my name is Will Shakespeare. The name of my show is Shakespeare Approves. Please go like it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but never Snapchat. Now, if you enjoyed that show, let me hear it. <laughs> Live theater never happens in a vacuum. It's a partnership between you, the audience, and me, the performer. So as your acting partner here today, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you for not sucking. Now, whatever you feel today's show is worth, a one, a five, a 10, for a 50, I'll detail your car. Cause seriously, I got no pride. <laughs> Throw it in my hat. If you'd like to go home with part of the show, go home with the fluffy kitten love grenades. <laughs> You can if you buy it. No. <laughs> available in black and gray, $10 a piece. Yellow and green eyes available. But also, for $20, you can go home with the pink one. The pink ones benefit women's health. These are $20. Thank you very much for joining me today. This is my only weekend here at the Connecticut, I mean, at the Robin Hood's Fair. So thank you very, very much. I love you. You love me. You can cheer now. Woo!